We have intruders in our boat. Not intruders, visitors. Him. Oh yeah, he's an intruder. Yeah, I'm not an intruder. I'm the odd life cruise here. Basically part and of the boat. Luca and Roberta. <laughs> She's just they can visit around. and see Eva. And it's a very special oh, day. Oh, the couch. Wait Please. for Luca because it's about to happen. No. It's about? No. Your seat is coming back to life. Oh, it's beautiful! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my place, right here. Exactly, I like it. We are Ben and MP, and this is Sailing Yaba, where we get to share a dream boat being rebuilt. Thanks to simple tools, ancient knowledge, and an amazing team of carpenters, our once wrecked schooner is being brought back to life. I think we have arrived at the hardest decisions ever to make on this boat. Not the colour, not what's going to be varnished, not anything but where the benches are going to be, how far toward, how close to the table, how tall, how everything. But luckily this afternoon Duca's arriving and we know that's his corner over there and I think we can let him decide. But until then, have a look at this. That's what it's going to look like. like. For example, we're going to decide this corner here. Do we let it stick out from here? A bit further out, but we can have like a little open area to put things on. Or do we have it flush with this? So it looks nice, but we don't have that little area. Because this is still loads of space to get on. Do we have it a bit further back, a bit further forwards? How is it to... Do you want to easily get onto the sofas or the bench and sit far away from the table or do you want to have to like really shuffle into the sofa but be closer to the table so that's all a bit of course closer to the table is the big biggest storage and that's also a very cool thing but that's what we're doing now we have to be able to put him in there when he's naughty as well hey come we'll test it <laughs> Enjoyed those seeds, it was a good laugh. I'm sweating and I haven't even started yet. I've never actually used one of these, it's from Duca and Roberta. But uh, I guess we're just painting the whole engine room anyway, so it doesn't matter if I miss or something goes wrong. 
Yeah, we'll see. I'm just show it, just making sure it's runny enough. Putting a little bit in. And out. <laughs> and out the floor. <laughs> So that was just a test little batch. Now this is actually from Odd Life Crafting and Duca actually explained to me that you need to like fiddle around with all these switches to like make the spray wider, more paint, less paint. So I'm just gonna play around with that still. But at least I know how to make it work now. I think it's more paint. Timer, sorry. Hey Kai, do you like the new sofa area? As you probably can tell from the noise of the compressor, we have been down there in the engine room painting, I mean primary the engine room so we can paint it later so the engine can go back in. We also have Elio over there starting to make our sofa and here behind me we have the platform, the swimming platform coming to life. So there's a lot happening. I really don't know what I should film first. But everything that's happening is super exciting because having the engine back inside is super important. Having the sofa here, which is the most important part of the boat, is also super important. And the swimming platform for me, as a diver, to have my own swimming platform that I can do the giant stride from is also super, super, super exciting. So I'm honestly over the moon with everything that's happening. I'm just a bit overwhelmed with everything that I have to film. But I hope you enjoy what you're watching and I'm trying to do my best. <laughs>
you stay? How long can you stay there? structure the strong part is already just the little slats that go here and the things they're missing and the awesome thing about our platform is that we were planning on reusing the old one then we decided to get some new parts and use some old parts and now we just decided to just use all new parts because we have the wood here it's all leftover wood from other works so it's not like we have to buy more wood for it it's just there so we're gonna use the wood and have a new platform that's gonna be mixed of a purple heart and gutter paper. You can see already this is purple and that's yellow, but all the slats will also be purple yep. and yellow. But that really doesn't matter because we're gonna paint it. And yeah, I'm very excited about this because I'm gonna be diving so much from this. So you see these pieces of wood, they're not straight. They have very odd shapes. You see, it's wide here and goes thinner there. So the guys are gonna work their magic to make the planks for our platform out of this. That's just leftover wood that's just resting here. So now they're sharpening the saw to get cut soon. When all this has been planed we're actually or flattened we're gonna actually have these slats to go on the platform which means we can stand on them and it's gonna be a functional platform we do have a lot of stainless steel parts to make sure the platform is extra strong because there is some of the standing rigging going to be fastened onto the platform and that's all going to be like tightened so it's not just depending on the wood this is almost done a few more like scrap pieces of wood are being found around the boat so that we can actually around the area so we can turn them into them so we don't have to buy anything new
I don't know if you remember, once I said, are we gonna make it functional or look nice? So functional was this angle and, and look nice was a lot more slopey angle, but not functional. But in this case, as it's a sofa, this nice chilling area, they're gonna have both sides looking identical. So instead of having that almost right angle of the, the seating area, we're gonna have it nice and curved. steps that we have to do to be for to actually varnish the deck and make it skid skid proof of course we have to varnish it because even look the first layer of varnish is already drying out because it's done it's the only part that isn't covered uh, so i'm gonna have to put another layer on that so the things you have to do before that i'll fill up these last few see some areas are a bit darker these are the fake seams that are filled up uh some fake seams have been filled up also i've gone over a Com uh, compressed clean some of the seams that were already filled and I have then gone over it with ethanol and a good scrub and I'm placing over another layer of this uh, this corking putty and also around the mast because what happens is it kind of I guess it's a good thing that it doesn't just sit on top in the seam it really sinks down into as deep as possible which of course isn't very handy when you have to go and do it again but it does make sure it is completely sealed. So it's double job, maybe even a triple job once it's all been sanded down. I'll go over one more time, but that's about it. And it is waterproof already because we know no water's in the hull already, except for what was coming through the windows before the top. But yeah, that's also done. And I'm gonna try not to stand on the work. There's a couple of lines down there that are also done. I'm waiting to do the long lines that are going, the seams that go all the way aft because lots of people are still standing and working and walking there and I know what happens there but yeah soon we'll finish the platform and the seating area another day in paradise what's happening today it's been a while that we don't see big changes happening on the boat so I myself find it a bit less exciting because of course it was a lot cooler to see a full keel being changed but what's happening today is really cool because our swimming platform is coming to life and we're gonna use that so much for diving and having so much fun from it and also the sofa that's around our table that's where we're gonna receive our family and friends so the things that are happening today might be small in size wise but what they're gonna mean for us in the future is actually really big so we're very excited and what's in your hand there? nails <laughs> i'm going to buy some nails now <laughs>
loving. This starboard side is built up to where they're going to have to start cutting the planks into a slightly smaller ones and at an angle so that they can start building more to port and make the most of all the long ones and what's left you can cut into as many pieces as they want and then make the smaller ones with an angle at it, to it. This is what our platform looks now. Nice gutter paid of yellow wood. And soon, it's gonna look different. You'll see why. Thank you so much for joining our virtual crew. Mike. Lindsay. RVPM Design. Henrik. David. And Roger.